JJ has said to him, just do it on ours because she'll she can take it. <laughs> so it's actually KSI's fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we'll just blame him for it. And then I saw Stephen at the Sidemen 8th birthday party mm-hmm. at the end of last year. And he come up to me and he was just like... This current sort of modern day Elle's the Witch that we all know yes. and we see all over the bloody place. <laughs> like, Where did that start? What would you look back on and say that was my first job in, in that field? Or would it be the radio? Was it, is this, uh, I think like the YouTube and presenting sort of came in unison. Mm-hmm. So I, I started the YouTube. That's when I really was just like, okay, cool. Elle's the Witch. That's my brand. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be, I'm going to start off as a gamer and just see where it takes me. So I guess when I first started the YouTube, that's when it happened. And I was in a good position. And this is why people, whenever people ask me, what would you recommend? Like I'm starting a YouTube channel. I give them advice, but also I was in a position where I've lived in London for a few years. I did have a network of friends that I could use for collaborations. So like, for example, I was really good friends with AJ Tracy. So he came on my channel quite early on. Vidal, I knew because I used to live in Stratford and I would go to gym box. So Vidal and Leon, who trained JJ for his boxing, like I was really cool with them. So he before YouTube, before YouTube, just because I, I I'd been around like um, a lot of my friends did music and stuff, so I, I knew people like from within London. So I asked Vidal, I was like, "Can we do a video together?" Cool, and then massive favor, and I'll always give him credit. Um, JJ came on my channel four months in. I even, I think I had about three thousand subscribers, and he was just starting his music off at the time, and my manager was working in music, so it's kind of like a if you do this, we'll do that kind of uh, trade thing. And I will always give him credit because that is the one, like that video is my most viewed video. That's on two point something million. He came on my channel and played The Sims. Fucking hell. Yeah, because he was going to come. He's like, what game do you want to play? And I'm like, well, I could get you to play FIFA, but have you ever played The Sims? He was like, oh my God, I used to love The Sims when I was younger. So what I did was I made all the side men into Sims uh, and you had nice. to kill them in different ways. Because on The Sims is a way that... <laughs> It's one of the concept. things you do, like you yeah. kill the Sims. So he, yeah, that was the concept of the video. He did that and the video was doing like, all right, I had about 50,000 views, which was great for my channel because it was a small channel. And then randomly one week, it just blew up and went to like a million views. And then my subscribers went up to probably like 50,000, I guess. Fucking 20,000 from that. I'm glad that you appreciate that. that ha- ha- I will always say that. And yeah. even... When I obviously, I know we're going to get onto it at some point, but um, the presenting was going really well. And then just before lockdown, JJ texted me and was like, what are you doing next week? We're doing Sidemen Tinder. Right. And I was like, <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go. Because obviously I'm, I'm, I was really cool with him and Ethan and Toby at this point. Cal, Cal Freezy I knew as well. Um, so I was like, it'd be fun, like a bit of a laugh. I'll just go and do it. And obviously I'm still trying to build my YouTube. I know that that's going to help my YouTube. So I went on it and then that Stephen Tries thing happened. And I think I, I don't just know what you're on about. <laughs> <laughs> We've not got anything I knew we were going to talk about it at some point. So. <laughs> but did you know that they would um, insult you? I, yeah. Well, I, I knew that that's the concept of the thing that I've, I've watched the Tinder videos before that. And I was ready for, like, I get really defensive. Like, I'm a defensive person. I don't like being taken the mick out of. So I walked in with like uh, I was walking in on the defense I literally walk in I think Ethan was the first person I saw and I remember saying to him I was like oh my god it's you like he was the first person there so I walked in on smoke and I think I even made a couple of them move from yes to no just because I was being so rude (laughs) yeah and it was Stephen Tries who had the famous line yeah so that that happened (laughs) and when it happened I think you can see in my face I was I was trying to figure out what I should do because that obviously they're all laughing and I'm thinking if I turn around and be like well I don't have a pancake ass that's going to make it 10 times worse because then the whole comments are going to be coming well she does actually or like yeah people mm. just commenting on my ass so all I did was I just crossed my arms and just stood there like right <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's, there's, just there's no way out of that no and then I, I got home and I checked my dms and he had dm me straight away being like I'm really sorry, by the way. What, Stephen? Stephen, Steven, he was, he's so nice. And he mm. literally had DM me straight away, being like, I'm really sorry. I'd asked the boys beforehand who the best person to say that line to was, because obviously, like, it's quite a brutal line. Um, and I think JJ has said to him, just do it on ours because she'll, she can take it. <laughs> so it's actually KSI's fault. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll just blame him for it. And then I saw Stephen 
at the Sidemen 8th birthday party mm -hmm. at the end of last year. And he came up to me and he was just like, oh my God, you've done so well. Like, I'm so happy for you. So I think people think there's this whole... Sounds like he was nervous, Al. So Maybe. Yeah. But if anything, like, it works in my favour. Yeah, because the clips from that still go... They're still on TikTok all the time. They go viral, yeah. I, I, I don't go on TikTok, but I go on the YouTube shorts and I see them on there quite a lot. Yeah. Does that annoy you now because you have sort of like, you're more of a serious presenter, so to Not speak? Not really. And it's so funny because sometimes I'll do work with brands. Oh, I did I did an interview with Bernardo Silva for Match of the Day X. And it's like a multiple choice questions we're answering him, asking him. And the clip they used was 15 seconds. And I'm asking him what his favorite pancake topping is, which I didn't clock because he loves pancakes. Like <laughs> at the time, and they used, the title was like, Els the Witch asks Bernardo Silva what his favourite pancakes are. And I'm like, I've been done in here. <laughs> they, they I don't know how I didn't what, see that coming. Yeah, they knew what they were doing. Eh? Yeah. Did you feel after that Sidemen video that a lot more people were becoming aware of you, like in the street and stuff? Yeah. I, well, it's weird because lockdown happened. So I uh, wasn't in the street, but my YouTube blew up from that. And I was obviously lockdown was occurring and I had a, more spare time. So I was just like, okay, I'm going to make the most of, of this so i was doing more videos than i than i do now anyway mm -hmm. and um so then i hit 100,000 subscribers my my instagram went up as well by a lot um so it, it did help me and i was just working hard to kind of capitalize off that i guess yeah. and just like make the most of that moment because i knew it wouldn't last forever um but i it was when we came out of lockdown I think the f maybe the first or the second time I'd noticed that maybe a few people would be like, oh, hey, you Els the Witch. Or I'd get a DM being like, I think I saw you walking through the train station. Oh, Which ones God. are creepy? They're quite That's creepy. A, yeah, yeah. Like I got one today like, on my way here. Someone tweeted me being like, I think I was just sat opposite Els on the train. And I'm literally like still on the train. Like That's so weird. It's a bit like <laughs> Joe from You. You know, Netflix yes, is I you. saw you. Yeah. I, I got a DM the other day telling me that they saw me eating pizza. And I was like, that's really uncomfortable. Because oh, now, now I'm really worried whenever I eat food in public. <laughs> I, I was in Tesco the other night and I just played football. So I was sweaty and I had my hoodie on. And I came out and there was this girl sat in a car. She was with her boyfriend and she got a phone out and she was just filming me. <laughs> and I just, I just looked at it and she quickly put it down. Oh and I was gosh. just, I just get so angry about stuff like that. But you get, it's just part of the game. Yeah, it? but I was just like... I'm friendly. Yeah. If, if someone was like, can I film you? I'm like, yeah, cool. Just like be like, hey, I'm <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, Killian Murphy, the main guy from Peaky Blinders, kicked off about it recently. Did he? He said that he finds it really weird if people just do it from a distance yeah. and film him. Yeah. And I think everyone has the right to have a say whether they want to be in that video mm. or not. Yeah. So something on here that like me and Stevie will have banter all the time just as we're mates and like I'll say immature stuff like call him a pig or whatever and then but then that right. that <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> right. it's just stupid shit but then like because people who listen to the show hear that all the time they'll often like try and get involved in the, in the joke and then like throw them lines at him mm -hmm. does that annoy you if people then because the Stephen Trice thing was so long ago now does it annoy you if people I imagine like you get young lads DM you that kind of shit yeah. how do you feel about I that I get it a lot and obviously it was Pancake Day recently oh. so that's about, it's like Els the Witch Day now apparently it was a complete accident that we announced you on Pancake Day by the way <laughs> like uh, did you see that yeah. me, uh, me and me and Fee were on the computer and I was like right let's announce sales and made the little graphic and then I was like uh, it clocked and I went, it is pancake day. And then I said, should I put it? And Fee was like, you don't know her well enough to put it. And I was just like, there's a few times deleting okay. it and then writing nah, it. just put it up. I, I'm fine. And you know what? The After that incident, for ages, I didn't post anything like with my body in it really. Because I was just like, well, I'm not going to give you all what you want. Because you want to know if I genuinely have a pancake ass or not. Because no one can see my bum in that video. Mm. So for ages. But now I'm like, oh, I don't even care anymore. So whenever I post stuff like of me in the gym, I've been going gym for about 10 years. like, mm. And like, it's, anyway. So when I put photos up now, they're like, oh, it's not pancake day anymore. And I just <laughs> can't always say it. And I'm like, I look the same as I have for the past few years. That's quite funny though. Yeah. <laughs> But I don't, honestly, I don't mind it. And it did help my career. Jimmy would open a shop at the break of dawn, ready to serve his meat to the many. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, he's a butcher. Why is that funny? Serve, serve his meat to who? To many hundreds of woodies. 